Hello. I thought today we'd make a sailboat block. Um, so my little boat's a little bit pale. I think it's been in the sun a bit long and it's perhaps faded a touch. It's funny how when I'm in the sun, I don't fade, quite the reverse, but my fabrics fade in the sun. Anyway, we're going to make this sailboat block today, again using two and a half inch squares and strips. So the boat is made from a two and a half inch strip and I've got a strip here. We're going to have a little bit of a stronger coloured boat and and some two and a half inch squares for the sails. Um, and again, I've, I have used um, a five inch square because I just needed four squares. So I've used a five inch square and cut it into four because if you cut a five inch square in half and half again, you get four two and a half inch squares and then all the background squares. So we need a few of the background squares and in this case I've used white. Um, so initially we'll make the boat. So the, the boat, as you can see here, is just angled at each end. So I've just used a whole long strip. You could do it in squares, and I think perhaps traditionally the block is made in squares, but I thought we would just do it as a strip. And I found these delicious striped fabrics. So I'm going to put a, a corner on each end of my boat to make that work. So there's my strip. It's This block is going to be 8.5 inches, so an 8 inch finish block. So my strip is 2.5 inches wide by 8.5 inches long. And I've got a couple of um, squares here that we're going to put on to make those corners. Um, we're effectively going to be turning those so that you get that nice shape of the boat. So to do that, I'm going to draw some lines onto my, my background squares. Well, I've actually already drawn them, but I'll show you what I've done. So on my square, I'm going to draw a diagonal line and I'm just using a mechanical pencil. And I'm going to go from point to point on the diagonal. And then I'm going to use, using the markings on my ruler, I'm going to come along half an inch and lay the half inch mark right over my drawn line and draw a second line, which will then be half an inch away from the first line. So I'm going to do that, and I've already done it, to my other end as well. And I'm going to go to the sewing machine and I'm going to sew those on. So you, you do need to sew these on so that one goes one way and one goes the other way because that's the shape of the boat. So I've got it, the, the piece I'm cutting away is on the right hand side there. So we're going to sew that long line first. And the reason for the second line is purely to make the bit that we're trimming away more usable. It's not essential for this block at all. And I'm going to draw uh, sew on that second drawn line now. And then I'm going to go to the other end of my boat. And so I'm not sure if you can see this or not, but I've got the lines going in one direction there, and I want them to go in the other direction at the other end of the boat. So I'm going to sew both of those lines now. So position that on the end of your strip, and we're going to come right along that long line first, and then we're going to do the second line. And now we're going to trim those. So we've now got two sewing lines half an inch apart. So I'm going to lay my ruler on top with the quarter inch marking right over the top of the longer line because we just want to cut basically halfway between the two sewing lines. So I'm going to lay that on top and I'm going to cut a quarter of an inch away. So this is the piece that we're discarding. So this will turn back and make the shape of our boat. This piece here we don't need at all, but it just made sense to do that extra sewing line as we go because now I've got a small half square triangle for later use. So I'm saving those for later. And I'm just going to trim off the same way halfway between the two sewing lines. And then I'm going to go to the iron and I'm going to press those. So I'm going to press that into the colour. And this end as well. And there we've already made our boat. Now that was pretty fast boat building I have to say. So that will go on as that boat there. It's a little bit big at the moment because it's still got its seam allowance. 
And then to make these sails, we're just going to do some half square triangle units. And so the same sort of thing with the, the drawing of the lines that we did for the end of the boat. We need to have these two same lines. You need the one through the diagonal and then one half an inch away. Um, if you're wanting to save those triangles, of course, if you don't want those triangles, you don't need to do that. And then I'm going to pair them up with the fabric that I've chosen for my sails. So I'm going to lay them right sides together so I can see my drawn lines. And I'm going to go back to the sewing machine. And I'm going to sew again on both lines because I'm saving my triangles. And I have done some of these ahead of time. So you don't have to watch me because really we need four of these for the boat, for the sails. And I can feed the next one straight in. And then I'm going to come and sew that second line straight away. So we can just chain these all through. So if you were doing several blocks, you could just do them all in one long chain if you wanted to. So I'm just sewing on that second line that we've drawn. Trim off my threads, cut my blocks apart, and now do that same um, cutting as we did for the boat. We're going to lay the quarter inch line along the long line so that we're cutting halfway between the two lines, which should give us a quarter inch seam allowance on each one. Just about made our sails. This boat building is good. So save those for later. And I'm going to press these again into the colour. There's two of our four sails already. And I've already done the others, just lurking in the back here. So for the other part too, for this, this block here, uh, quite often it's got this row of squares um, here that could perhaps be a, a blue for water or something. Um, but I discovered that in actual fact you could either put it there or up above and make it more sky. So on this block here I've put it underneath but I've just kept it the one colour. I didn't want to go into another colour. Um, so I've got my blue boat here which if I was doing it the same as my previous block I would then put that plain strip where I've already joined my four squares together underneath but in fact I'm going to put it on top and that one's going to go on there and we've got to make this little row up yet we haven't finished with it yet um, so I've got my squares my sails like that so I'm just going to join this little row up here with these squares now when you pick these up you don't want to turn them around you don't want your sails suddenly going in a funny direction so we just make sure that you've got them and you hold them in the same direction when you're joining them together. It's very easy to turn them around. And I'm going to pop the next one through as well. Again, just being careful you don't turn that around. It's no good at all if the sails are all over the place. So you could do the whole block chain piece like this, but because we're just doing the one row this time. Okay, so we've got a plain one at the beginning and a plain one at the end, and we're just going to join those two together now. Just getting it to sit nicely. because I've already pressed this one I've got my seams all going one way they're all going that way so this one the seams all need to go the other way so that they nestle when I join it up together so we'll press them that way and this one which I've already sewn up I just need to turn around so that my seams are going in the opposite direction so we're actually going to have it so that we've got kind of more sky above rather than water underneath this time. And so now I'm going to join these two strips up as a, as a pair. And again, just make sure you're not turning them around. Make sure you're joining the right bit. 
It's not helpful if it's all upside down. You don't want any boats capsizing. So this would make quite a good quilt um, for, let's got to make sure I get this in the right place, um, maybe for a boy or a Somebody who really likes sailing, doesn't have to be a boy, could be a girl. I know girls who love sailing. You might have a nice beach house, it could be a good beach house quilt. You might just like boats. You might just like quilts and trying out different designs. And I think that's my problem. I really just like quilts and making them. And been making some more because you know you've made one you've got to make another one okay so our boat is coming together we've just got to join that up together and then we can press it and the block is done I love seeing them come together it's worth all that effort of cutting and piecing and Love planning quilts. It doesn't seem to need to be a reason. The quilt doesn't need a reason. The fact that it's a quilt is sufficient reason. Okay, now I'm going to press all my seams in one direction. Just because it's easier. If you were joining these blocks together side by side, you might want to think about which direction your seams go on each block so that where they join you can nestle them nicely. And there we have it, one little sailboat. In fact, we have two little sailboats. And you can see what I've done now. Because I've done the plain bit on top of one and underneath on the other, they're kind of looking a little bit like ones in the distance. And one's up close. Well, that's my theory anyway. So I've made a little quilt showing how you might pop those blocks together. So this one that I've prepared earlier for you. So this is my quilt with my sailboats and I have done exactly that. I've done that staggering. Um, so I've got my extra white strip up the top here and it's at the top of this block here. And on this side it's underneath. So that it just gives it, and if you imagine a bigger quilt you could have them going kind of up and down across the quilt or or not and um, that would be something that you could choose but it just just to give you a little idea that you can play around with some of these blocks and get a different look um, I tried all sorts of other things when I was drawing it up you could kind of have them going like a pinwheel but I wasn't sure that that was such a good thing with boats going around in circles um, so I went for the staggered look or perhaps the sailing in the distance look um, and I've really enjoyed making that block so that's an eight and a half inch block so it's going to finish at eight inches using two and a half inch strips and squares. Enjoy the sailboat.